What's up everyone, this is Bodo Fraggins, and today we are going to be looking at composters, but more specifically, which materials to put into composters to get the most bone meal. Now, we are going to use some of the classics that people often use, also some materials from the farms that we have uh, built previously, and to finish it off, we will use a mystery material. So, stay tuned to see what the results are to find out which is the champion for getting bone meal from composters. So first of all, we're going to start off by just having a quick look at a composter. When you put it down and there is a villager without a job, they will then become a farmer. And what you're going to do though, is if you want to try and get some bone meal out of it, you've got to get your material and then right click your way into it. And you can see that it slowly fills up. It needs to have seven ticks to it. So seven instances for it to fill up before you actually get the bone meal out. Uh, don't click for too long because then you end up eating your bread or whatever you're holding. So it needs to have seven iterations as you can see and each time it is not a 100% guarantee. Okay, now we're going to build a little farm. So what we're going to do is place down a chest and a hopper. We're going to crouch and then place that. And you can see that the uh, spout coming out of the bottom is pointing towards the chest. So the way it works is like a normal funnel. The big end and it goes down into the small end. And whatever the small end is pointing at, that is where it goes. Uh, we haven't done hoppers before. So here's an example of where the hopper won't work. You can see that the end is there, so it'll go down and it'll go to the right in this instance, which is not what we're looking for in order to do this. So a little bit of uh, hopper 101 for you there. So get rid of that. Now back to the very basic farm that we're doing. We're going to just place a chest here so I can stand on it, crouch and then place a composter on top. Okay, and I'm going to go a little bit higher again, so hold on. We're going to then do a another hopper, again, crouching, pointing at it, and then place it. And then finally, to finish off, we're going to go one higher here and place our chest. And that is it. You now have to put things in the top chest, and what will happen is... It will then go down into the funnel of the hopper, down into the composter, and then the composter will do its job of doing the ticks, it needs seven in total, and it will go down into the hopper, and then down again into the chest. And now over to the experiment. So we put together six of the farms, and we're using seeds, we're using wheat, we're using bread because that can be made with three wheat and we're going to be using kelp. We're going to be using the classic that uh, most people want to use, which is the cactus. And then we're going to finally do the mystery material and we'll see what happens with that one. Now, all of these are using the farms from before. You can see that they're all empty as well. We're going to throw in now these different items. And uh, if you want to use any of the other materials that we've uh, used there, such as the seeds and the wheat, then they're on my other farm, so check them out. And uh, you can see as well in the top that there is still some that are close to getting more bone meal, but not quite. So cactus, for example, is almost at the stage of getting an extra one, but we're doing one stack tests. So the first one, only three bone meal out of the seeds. So the stack of wheat, that's given us a total of five. Stack of bread has done better, giving us eight. The kelp, only three. And the faithful cactus has given us a total of four, which leads us over to the mystery one. And that has given us a total of Eight. The mystery material is in fact the brown mushroom. So in actual fact, it's a mushroom block. 
the percentages are here. Seeds actually have a 30% chance of going up one tick. Wheat, 65% chance. Bread, 85% chance. Now, obviously, you could have one stack of bread and three stacks of wheat for the same amount. So five and eight, realistically, you get 15 wheat as an estimate. So it's better to just use wheat. Kelp, 30%. Cactus, 50%. And the mystery, which is now revealed as the brown mushroom block, but any mushroom block is fine, and that is 85% chance. But how do you get them? How do you get your mushroom blocks? Well, we're in my survival mode now, and I've made this uh, dirt block, which is, a, I think it's 10 by 11 by 11. Um, it probably should have been 11 by 11, but as long as there's enough room for it to go up to a, a 7 by 7 space. So you put your mushroom down, use a bit of bone meal, and it grows up like this. Now, what's interesting here is what you want to do is you've got to use silk touch to actually farm it. But before you farm it, you want to make sure that you've got at least one brown mushroom in order to do the same thing again. So I'm just going to harvest a little bit until that number four goes up. There we go. So we've got, uh, we've got two more there. And at that point, then, get your Silk Touch tool out and then just harvest it all down. And once you've taken it all down, collected it, you get your mushroom that you've had from the last time and repeat. Bone meal and away you go again. And that way you can get yourself a decent amount of bone meal uh, with not much fuss. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic if you've enjoyed. Bye-bye.